So here we are, episode two of The Truth with me, Jonathan Hood. Tonight I've got a club legend for security reasons. Can you please confirm your full name, plus any other given names? Michael Paul Coslett. Perfect. Okay, Michael Paul Coslett. What's your most memorable moment as a player? Most memorable moments? Um, obviously, I'm a lot more senior than a lot of the people you're going to be interviewing, so I got a few memorable moments. Um, for me, my league debut, which probably will surprise a lot of people because a lot of people don't know about that because it was a long time ago. Um, as far as Barry is concerned, uh, making the first round of the FA Cup against Reading and also a classic semi-final Welsh Cup game against Swansea City uh, playing against Tosh and Kurt up front and taking seven or eight coaches down to the vet for the replay it was a massive uh, point in my career So if you had to pick out of the, one of them three which one would you say would be? Obviously my league debut. Very, very proud. Who was that against? Uh, Halifax, believe it or not, for uh, Newport County. And how did it go? Uh, and uh, Colin Addison at the time. Uh, went very well, yeah. Went very so well that I didn't play the following week. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, obviously a very, very proud moment for, for me. I was only, what, 19 at the time. Um, and to play in the Football League, obviously, is everybody's dream. If you had a boat, what would the name of your boat be? The Unsinkable Three? The Please Don't Sink? What do you think? Well, that's a very good question. If I had a boat, what would the name be? Um, Fireman Sam, probably. Why Fireman Sam? No, it's obviously, um, from a career point of view, spend a lot of time uh, in the fire service. And Fireman Sam was my hero. Um, when you first uh, get involved with the fire service, um, it has been known that you dress up as Fireman Sam and go around the schools in the fire engine. So if I had a boat, it would definitely be called Fireman Sam. And I Sam. bet Lewis was like Naughty Norman from Fireman Naughty Sam. Naughty Norman, then. yes. We had a few characters at that time, but that was definitely the show of the time. And obviously London's Burning. London's Burning, I remember. I used to watch that. I still watch Fireman Sam now. Yeah, so good. Fireman Sam lives on. Yeah. Favourite film of all time? Again, not to be boring, but it's got to be Backdraft with a follow-up to as second in is Ladder 49. Anything to do time. with... Before your time. Oh, Backdraft's a classic, mate. Absolute classic. They didn't have that in Swansea, did they? No. Or my state. No. Backdraft. If you could come up with the name of a superhero for yourself, what would your name be? And what would your superpowers be? Um, superpowers would be obviously winning every game that you came across. Um, getting into the Champions League. Uh, so what would my name be? What would your superhero name be? What would my... Su Super Mike, obviously. Super Mike. Super Mike. I thought, you got, my chest. I thought you got Super Mike in goals. No, Super Mike, <laughs> no. No, Super Mike across my chest. Super Mike. Super Mike. Mm. Good. Easter is coming. What would be your favourite Easter egg? Because I know you like your chocolate and the sweets. Yeah, my favourite Easter egg would have to be a crunchy. <sighs> crunchy. I love a crunchy. Oh, I don't know. I don't think it can't be a crunchy. It's too plain, too boring. No, that honeycomb scent there is 
It does it for you. It does it for me. Right? It's good. When travelling away on the bus, well, as you as a player, what was your song? What was my song? You used to sing on the bus. Um, probably Delilah. Why, why Delilah? At the time, that was my song. Can you give us a couple of lines? Uh, no. No? No. Why, why Delilah? That was it. I felt the <laughs> knife in my hand and she laughed no more. <laughs> uh, uh, as they say. If you had to choose between your son, Lewis, or your sack of footballs, what would it be? Sack of footballs. I thought it would. Every day. Definitely. 20, as long as I was 20 in the sack. Yeah. I knew, I knew that would be the answer. And the last question, if you had to shave off your hair or your moustache, which one would it be? Hair. I couldn't shave off my moustache. I've had this yeah. since I was 19 years of age. 19? Yeah. There's somebody, somebody said you was born with it. No, I had it since I was 19. It took me 19 years to grow. There's pictures in the Skittle Alley of me without a moustache that look absolutely horrendous. Um, the kids have said, don't ever shave your moustache off after seeing the pictures of me without one. So there's, the moustache stays, uh, stays and the hair goes, mate. Especially because it's so grey. No, it's nice. You've, it looks like you've groomed it well. You look after it. I do look after it. Memory foam, as Gav says. <laughs> And finally, as we... You said last the last question was the last question. Yeah, but this one will go to everyone. At the end of the interview, I will ask every player or coach, have you ever dressed as a woman before? When I was a lot younger, I did spend an hour behind closed doors in my home with my two daughters who spent the morning putting makeup on me and dressing me up as a woman. Uh, I got a hasten to add it was behind locked doors and I never ventured out having looked in the mirror. Being a woman with a moustache is not for me. <laughs> so I will ask you, are you going to dress as a woman tonight for us? No. No, you're going to take a £20 fine? £20 fine all day. OK. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you. So that's the end of episode two of The Truth With Me, Jonathan Hood. Can I finally ask you to nominate somebody for next week, please? Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it local. I'm going to nominate the player this time. I'm going to uh, nominate Drew for here. Drew for here. So, Drew, get ready, and we will see you next week. Thank you. <laughs>